Hello YouTube, I wanted to do a short uh, explanational video here. I purchased a 7000 BTU air conditioner from eBay. I originally wanted to purchase one from uh, AliExpress, but I didn't want to deal with all the issues with buying something from China direct. Uh, there's a gentleman selling them on eBay, $700 with shipping or $715. I think he's asking $660, uh, then plus your taxes and fees. So this is the indoor head. This is on high fan, so it's a little louder. You can turn it down, it gets quieter. You can turn it all the way down, you pretty much can't hear the unit. Then you have your temperature control. And really neat on this newest uh, unit, I guess, before they didn't have this, now they give you a speed controller. It's a inverter-driven compressor outside. So if you want to pull less amps or you got a weaker generator or you know if it's not too hot outside but you want the AC running continuously, uh, you can turn the speed down. Right now I have it on max all the way to the right. You got your suction cold line and then your hot line and uh, your drainage tube right there. I'm gonna throw these in behind the wall, but for now I just got them up under the bed. I uh, just hooked this up. It's around 90 degrees outside in the direct sunlight. It's a large full sleeper um, International Pro Star, and it seems to be doing a decent job. It's not a, it's not freezer in here. It's not 50 degrees, but uh, it's dry and very, very comfortable. Um, I think it's actually higher than 7,000 BTUs because it's rated at 2,800 cooling watts, which when you convert that to cooling BTUs, 2,800 watts transforms to right around 9,002 or 9,300 uh, BTUs of cooling. Um, I'm going to show you what else it requires. It requires a transformer. Um, the unit pulls a rated of 30 amps, but it can pull up to 40 amps. So I got a 50 amp transformer. So it's a 12 volt unit. Um, got the cooling fan on this side of the transformer. I just ordered this on Amazon. I might put a link up for it. Uh, everybody sells them. Um, and then you got your two lines here, plus and minus for your 12 volt, and then my 110 volt feed, neutral ground and 110. Um, Whatever you do, don't get a 40 amp because you're gonna be running a transformer at max capacity. It's not gonna last you long. I kinda of wish I got a 60 amp. This is a 50 amp, uh, seems to be doing okay. It's not too hot, but uh, obviously if you get something where the transformer is gonna be only running at 50% capacity, you're gonna get a lot more life. Uh, all electronics don't like the heat. I'm gonna do a little bit of the uh, outside here. So, I'm running this off of a Honda generator, it's just a three kilowatt. Yes, I have it in a box made out of plywood, but I've tested it for hours uh, with it completely closed and it doesn't get too hot. As you can see, I uh, got a piece of wood actually holding it down. It doesn't get black or uh, sooted at all, so that's totally fine. And uh, this is the unit. So it's a Chinese unit, but I'm very satisfied with the quality. Um, you have your low pressure line and there's actually a high pressure tap inside if you take there's a cover back here that pulls right up and out that you can get to the compressor and everything else that's in there the control board is in there too um, all stainless steel construction they give you all the brackets here i had to use the extra brackets they give you two brackets like this as you can see if i didn't use these brackets to mount this unit wider i would end up mounting it on the inside here and i got a little step so it's very neat that they gave you an option to create a wider bracket, yet it still mounts to the unit. A very neat option there. They give you a whole bunch of tubing, so you can mount this thing anywhere if you feel like it. I just wrapped my tubing all up behind. You can see how much moisture the unit's pulling out. Quite a bit of moisture is coming out of it. Um, grabbing the wires right now. They're warm, but they're not hot. I'm not gonna say they undersized it, but they probably could have definitely used either higher percent copper inside the wire or a thicker wire, but uh, it's not melting your fingers. It's definitely warm though. Uh, the fan is also variable speed. You'll hear it speed up and uh, slow down as needed. Uh, it's very efficient. I believe at, at, uh, at 7,000 BTUs and 30 amps, which is around 400 watts, that equates to uh, a 7,000 BTU air conditioner pulling only 400 watts. If you look at your regular window AC unit, a regular 5,000 BTU unit is going to pull 500 watts. So this is a 7,000 BTU pulling 400 watts. So it's a very, very efficient unit. I'm pretty sure they're proud of it. They had a whole bunch of stickers on it. Um, designed very well. As you can see, they even thought of uh, integrated handles. I mean, you only got to mount this thing once in your life, and they worried about making sure it's comfortable to get the unit up on the truck and, uh, and mount it. 
maybe two handles on each side. And uh, I just, you know, put a hole in my truck like you would on a regular air conditioner in a house and I ran all the lines in. Um, you know, you can set it up however you want. I got it set it up, set up here like this. The outside fan, I wouldn't say it's loud. It's definitely moving a lot of air. Um, I'm very satisfied with the unit. I just wanted to do an update. So the guy selling these on uh, eBay, hopefully can get them out. I don't know how long he's gonna keep them listed for, but for $660, I would say it's, uh, it's a very good unit. You know, if you wanna get an APU anywhere, you're gonna be paying many, many thousands of dollars. I'll be uh, posting a link of the uh, eBay posting for this item. Everything comes included, um, the long, heavy gauge wires to your battery. Obviously, you don't run it off your battery because you're gonna it's gonna die in an hour or two. You need a you need a generator or you need a specific battery pack that's gonna be rated. I would say for at least three to four kilowatt hours of power uh, to get you through the night on this system. Uh, very satisfied. Just wanted to give uh, YouTube a shout so you guys can see uh, this is available for the average DIYer. It wants to hook it up and it runs off of 134a refrigerant which is your regular refrigerant you can get for a vehicle uh, and it takes around 600 grams plus minus 20 which is just under two cans that's about 20 ounces to 21 ounces um, you know so you can you can hook it up charge it yourself just if you will be doing it yourself make sure you pump the system down you have to create a vacuum inside of the system after everything's hooked up you vacuum it down and then you release the refrigerant from a can into the system It'll operate without vacuum, but you're gonna burn your compressor out a lot quicker because there's moisture inside the tubes. And when that mixes with the refrigerant, it creates a bunch of crap inside the system. And uh, you know, you're gonna get a short life expectancy out of the unit. Uh, either get a compressor from Harbor Freight for 60 bucks and a set of gauges and vacuum the system down, or have somebody do it or a shop do it uh, before you put refrigerant in it. That way you're not blaming the supplier for uh, you know, a faulty unit six months down the road. It's around 90 degrees outside right now and uh, the sun just hit itself in direct sunlight. And as you can see, it's a full sleeper, a full international pro star with a you know, bunk on top. So it's a very large truck and uh, it's doing a good job. It's not, it's not 60 in there, but I would say it's about 70 and very dry. So uh, works works very well.